Do you feel like your inbox is running your day? Let's change that. In this training, I'll show you how Microsoft 365 Copilot can help you manage, summarize, and create emails effortlessly in Outlook. I'm working with Microsoft 365 and using the paid add-on for Copilot. Although Copilot is supported by Classic Outlook and New Outlook, currently we'll see the fullest use of Copilot working with Outlook for the web. If you have Copilot as part of your Microsoft 365 subscription, you'll find the option in the far right of the Home tab in the ribbon. For a look at getting started with Microsoft 365 Copilot, look for the link to my video above. Find the link in the description below. Let's look at some options that are available in Outlook with Copilot. First, I'll click the Copilot icon, and this opens up Copilot Chat. Here you can see suggestions to get started. For instance, Copilot could help you organize your inbox, help you to write or draft an email, help you find something, or you could ask it to help you out. Let's say, for instance, I want to find out more about an upcoming meeting. And I might say here, when is my next meeting with Megan? I can either hit enter or click send. So now I can see that my next meeting is on Thursday at 11 a.m. And I have some details that came from the meeting invitation. So this can help me to prepare for that meeting. Let's try another prompt. How could Copilot help you if you've been away from your inbox? Perhaps you've had a few days off. So I can see I have a lot of unread email. Here I'll put in my prompt, summarize all unread emails from Adele Vance and create a list of action items. I'll simply hit enter and let's see what happens. So now I not only see what the unread emails are titled with some details for that, but I also have some action items that have been gleaned from that content. This can help me to focus in on biggest priorities, especially when I've been away from the office. And I could simply take this information here and I could copy it. So from this, I could copy it, let's say, into a Word document and then narrow that down in terms of my priorities. For now, I'll close the chat window. Copilot can also summarize an email. And one of the easy ways for me to get to this is to change my view so that I can see my reading pane. So I'll go to my view tab and show my reading pane on the right. So here is an email thread for an upcoming Outlook training. Not only can I see the content here, but if there's been a lot of back and forth with Copilot, it's easy to summarize. So here is summary by Copilot. Now I have a quick summary that I can also copy. Notice this icon in the upper right hand corner. And I can see that not only do I have the agenda, but that other participants have also indicated some interest in particular Outlook topics. And this can help me to be prepared also to make sure that I didn't miss anything from this email thread. I might then want to dig further into the conversation, but this gives me a quick at a glance. Let's try another summary. Here is a pretty lengthy email thread in planning for an executive retreat. So we have multiple people that have shared their ideas and thoughts on this. So with Copilot now, I can get a summary of what our action items are from this point forward. I'll hit pick summary. Here we get an overview about the event, comments and ideas from Nestor, Megan, Adele, all the people that are involved. And we can see that we might have some action items here as well. I could also further have Copilot help me to understand particular options here. But notice how this is an easy way for us to get a little bit more control over our inbox by not feeling so overwhelmed with so many emails all at once. Now that we've summarized some emails, let's see how we can handle a reply to an email using Copilot. Here I have a message from Adele, and I'll double click on this to open it up into a new window. And I'd like to reply all, but let's see how Copilot could help me out. Simply by clicking once again on Copilot, we see two options here, poaching and draft. Now, drafting with Copilot helps you to write the email content. So this 
can help me get started if you aren't exactly sure how to begin it. The coaching option can help you with tone and revisions, especially for difficult conversations. So it's more likely that you already have written part of your response and you'd like to have it reviewed or improved. Maybe I need to say it in a nicer tone, for instance. Let's look at the draft option here. One of the things that can be really helpful here is that you could give it a quick response. Now, for most of you, you could type this just as quickly. I might want a short and friendly message. Perhaps I want to request information. Let's say that that was one of my options. You can see how the prompt is structured here where you can fill in those components. What's the tone? Who are you asking? What's the topic? So that's to give you a start for drafting this. But we could also, of course, put in our own prompt. For this, I'd like to get more details. I'd like to get monthly figures as well. And I like to have this be a professional tone. Setting the tone can be helpful to maintain the type of communication you want in this email. Let's go ahead and enter, see what happens here. So here's the first try here. This is probably all I need, but notice that we have options here. I could make it shorter. I could make it longer. I could change the tone so we could get more direct, casual, formal. You might want to experiment. You could say, like poem. Uh, that might be very specialized application, right? Just so you can see the options here, I'll ask it to make it longer. It looks like it's very similar, but we could move between these two to see which of these we want, or we might want to go further. Let's say I'm good with this one. I will choose keep it. I can also discard, retry. Let's go ahead and keep it. Now, I still have the chance to make it a little bit more custom. If there's anything else that I want to put in here. Might be good to go for me to send. Copilot can also help you write a new email. So it's a great way to get ideas and suggestions. Let's look at how we could do this. Now, once again, here I have some options. If I want to launch Copilot, I could simply type a slash or click on draft with Copilot. So there's a couple possibilities here. That is, once again, slash, and that would pop up Copilot. And you can see here, Raft with Copilot. That would been, That's the option I would have had from that link. So we'll go ahead and draft. What do you want that email to say? Now, this is going to be a longer one. Here I'm setting the situation of being a marketing director for Jazzy's Cupcakes. I want to create an email that's going to current customers to announce the cupcake flavor of the month. And then within the email, I'd like to invite them to show this email, to buy one and get one free, and use a friendly, casual tone. Let's see what happens. This looks pretty good. There might not be anything else I need to do. But if we want to see some other variations, for instance, I could try make it shorter. I could ask Copilot to retry. And now I have a second version. And I could preview these to see which one I like. And maybe I'm going to ultimately combine content from both of them. But you can see how this gives you a framework and can really save you a lot of time with you're just stuck with inspiration or ideas in terms of how you want to move forward. I'll go ahead and keep this first one. As you've seen with Copilot, it can be easy to manage, summarize, and even create emails in Microsoft Outlook. How will you use Copilot to save time in Outlook? If you found these Outlook tips helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. To explore even more tips, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash Outlook and join my free tips newsletter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.